That's his secret weapon. Garbage bag thrower. Stinky, but effective. It's very effective. Man! attack on zombie titan hey hey how's it going guys spy here and welcome back to another tiny town episode and last time we built this farm here with this giant ufo attacking the farm abducting some farmers and their cows and everything like that there's grandma right there hi grandma and what we're going to be doing now is we are going to be continuing the construction of our town here our city the good city the safe zone which is no longer safe we're going to be adding a few more things on the inside as well as you guys have wanted to see a giant zombie attacking the city now i have a few plans for that we're gonna have some on the outside of the wall, attacking, trying to get over, like the attack on Titan Titans, which is going to be pretty neat. So first thing, what I wanna do is I wanna expand this wall here. Oh, I broke it. I broke it. Good enough. Now we're just going to expand this out quite a ways, quite a ways. So we have a lot of room to work with here. Oh, geez. Oh geez, this game makes me so dizzy. We're gonna have this go pretty far out this way. That's a lot, that's quite a bit there. There is supposedly an undo button, but I don't know how to use it quite yet. Oh, I figured it out guys, so it's just the top button. Oh wow, that's so much easier. So if I mess up like this, I can just go. Oh, I messed it up. I messed it up big time. Yep, fixed it. Now we need some zombie dudes trying to get over. Who will it be is the question though. Because we don't know what a giant titan zombie looks like. Uh, so I guess it could be really anyone from here. Since he's coming from the city, maybe he's mutated. And he's a giant businessman zombie. Like this. Oh, that's kind of scary. That's kind of really scary. So I'm going to go to snapping here. Turn that off. We'll have to place him down nicely. How big do we want him? Like this? So he's peeking over? Oh yeah. Just like that. He'll be peeking over with his hands up. Trying to grab onto the wall and climb it. There we go. There, oh, yeah, that's creepy. That's really creepy. So now we need to add the zombie eyeballs to him. Hey, look, we don't even need to shrink down the eyeballs. Just place them right down like that. Add some goop coming out of his mouth and he's a zombie, a Titan zombie man. Oh, that's creepy. So if you look over here, you can see him peeking over. Um, I guess we can have people fighting him on the wall, like uh, some type of defense team. Similar to Attack on Titan as well. Who will it be? Oh, oh this guy looks like... He, I know he's a robber, but he has the eye mask like a superhero. So maybe he's a robber, but on the side, he's a superhero attacking zombie titan dudes. So he's going to be like jumping midair like this. Hiya! And then have a sword in his hand or something. Oh, look at that, guys. So he has some type of like jetpack thing on his back where he's flying midair like that. Now we need to give him a sword because he's fighting this giant zombie titan over here. Um, you know, he's not really a real superhero. He's just a criminal. But on his side job, he decides to be a superhero and fight the giant titan zombies that are attacking the city. Man, it's attack on zombie titan. So screwdrivers, those work. Little weird. But he, he's dual welding screwdrivers. We'll have another one on his other arm like this. Oh yeah, there we go. They look like little homemade daggers. He's going in, he's going in, he's going to attack this zombie. He's like, whoa, and he's gonna be like, boop, 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 headbutts. Everything like that. Now, how do I get him back there? There we go, perfect. Undo button is so nice. Okay, now we need some other crew members up here helping him, helping him attack this giant zombie. Who, oh, it'll be like the unconventional giant attackers. It's a hobo. It's a hobo. We'll have him just staring him down and the zombie's looking at him. He'll be pointing. He's like, stop right there. And he's going to throw something at him. He's throwing something at him. One of them needs to have a gun. He's just chewing the zombie to distract him because this guy's going to come in and he's going to attack him straight on. He's going to attack him straight on. He's throwing garbage at him. He's a hobo, so he's gonna throw a bag of garbage. There's one coming up to his forehead like this. He has like a satchel full of garbage bags. That's his secret weapon. Garbage bag thrower. Stinky, but effective. It's very effective. Look at that. Yeah. Then up over here, we'll have a guy lounging. Maybe this guy right here. He's just relaxing on the beach chair. He's the, he's the geek of the squad. He's the geek of the squad. Look at that guy. Look at that guy watching them fight. What the heck is that? He's going to be eating a taco while watching. Because that's like a perfect meal right there. A taco while watching a giant zombie attack the city. Okay, here we go. That's starting to look pretty sweet. We need one more guy like up on his side here. Master Yin. 
he'll be attacking. This is the guy who knows what he's doing. He really knows what he's doing. Climbing up his side here, like this. He's going to have a sword or something in his hand if I could find a thing of that sort. Oh, a cane. Oh man, he's old. He's using his cane to smack, smack the titan zombie. There we go. Awesome. There's the crew, guys. How does it look? Looks awesome. I think we need some more other smaller titan zombies trying to attack as well. There's this titan right here. He's a he's a smaller one. He wants up. He can't reach though. He, he's not fully grown. He's just still a little baby zombie man. Give him some of these eyeballs. There we go. Look at that. He's so cute. Next to his big grandpa titan man zombie whatever you want to call him there's a squad fighting we need actual zombies running up here though running towards the squad maybe someone else defending them with a machine gun oh arista maybe uh italian grandma she'll be dual welding some smgs to defend the squad she's awesome look at that oh yeah there's Italian grandma shooting down the horde of zombies that's coming towards the heroes. They're running up on the wall there. She's taking them out with the machine gun. She's like bang, 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 bang. She's got a couple of them down. There's one in the middle. Look at them. He's the wrestler dude. He's the boxer. He got knocked right out by the machine guns. She's awesome. She's, she's like my favorite superhero in this gang here. Taking them all out. There's the scene for the attack on zombie titan dude. Now, we're done that one. We're going to head on over to the city now, add some more stuff to it. You guys wanted to see the city expanded a little bit, so that's what we're going to do. Maybe add a few more streets and things of that sort. Uh, we'll, uh, we'll have some more streets up here. Maybe a park right there in the park. Oh, we'll have more zombies. So that's the park, the city park. Looking for the fence in here. Wish there was like a search menu, that would be nice. This goes all the way around the park. Gonna add some trees and everything like that. So that's the park. I added a few walking paths in there. Now we need a big old fountain in the middle. Look at this. Fountain. That's a tiny fountain though. We'll enlarge it quite a bit. It'll be right in the middle of the park. Oh, that's pretty big now. Maybe if we put it in the ground a bit, it'll look a little more realistic. Oh, maybe. We'll see once we get some people. We need some flowers all the way around the park, of course. Add a bunch of flowers, trees, things of that sort. All right, now for benches and people. Throw the benches right in the middle here. Those are some big trees actually, but you know what, they're okay. They're not too, too big. Benches around the park. And then we'll have people going crazy, eating hot dogs. Uh, we don't want zombies everywhere because this outbreak just started in the city, even though they're pretty much everywhere. They're over there, they're right there. We got them up over there. Man, um, I might have to add an alien v invasion too. I don't know if I actually want to do a full out invasion, but if you guys would like to see aliens like attacking, let me know. A hot dog stand. Oh, awesome. We'll put one there. We'll have a little vendor guy inside selling hot dogs, but people don't realize he's a zombie. He, their feet, they're eating the contaminated zombie dogs. Oh, look at that. We have a shopkeeper. He's making a zombie dog. There it is, a hot dog, the extra big hot dog. <laughs> this guy here, he just came along, he sees this hot dog stand, he's walking up, he asks for a hot dog, he doesn't realize that the zombie dude right there is a zombie dude selling contaminated zombie dogs. Like, look at that thing. Would you buy that? I don't think I would, but okay. Whatever makes this guy happy, I guess he's giving him money. He's telling him he wants extra, 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 whatever that green bottle is. The contaminated zombie dog sauce. Of course, garbage cans all around, but this one has a guy hiding in it because he knows what's going on. He knows what's going on. So shrink his body quite a bit. Have his head peeking out. How am I gonna do this? He's just, he's just peeking out. <laughs> I can barely see that he's there. He's just in the garbage can hiding. Now we need some people uh, hanging out in the park doing normal human things. So it doesn't seem like there's too many zombies around, of course. We'll have a hobo guy sleeping on the bench here. Just relaxing, enjoying his sleep. There we go. Oh yeah, that's perfect. This guy up here, he's a news reporter. He's reporting the situation in the city. Doesn't realize that this guy right here is a zombie. He's taking pictures though. 
He's doing his reporting duty. Uh, taking pictures on his smartphone over there of the hot dog stand. He's gonna write a local newspaper uh, commending this hot dog stand for the best hot dogs in the city. Even though he doesn't realize this guy turned. He's a zombie. He's a zombie. Um, what else can we add in here? You know what? I think that's pretty good for now, guys. If you have suggestions on what I should add to the park, let me know. Now, we need to add a giant zombie in the city. There we go. We have like a little city area over here. I added some more roads. Now to add some of the big, big buildings. We want skyscrapers. There's a big building here. It's like in a big apartment building. You know what? That would work. We can have a couple of those here. We can add a third one in between. I think that will look pretty good. Just like right there. Oh yeah. That looks pretty neat like that. Office buildings. Oh, these are a good size. Just all along here. Don't know how many we really need. Different colored ones, of course. There we go. And then a really, really big one there. And whatever these are. Uh, which one? This one? Okay. So we have our little city kind of set up here. I might change it eventually. It's kind of cramped right now, but it does look pretty nice. Now we need a big zombie climbing the top and we'll have like a little barricade here. It'll be blocked off by police. They'll be shooting at the big mega zombie dude. He's just misunderstood. He wants the uh, company logo. A giant, it's a giant sandwich company. They make the best sandwiches. He just wants this sandwich. He thinks it's real. He thinks it's real. He wants to get it. This company's name is I Sandwich. And of course, he's a giant hipster zombie. A giant hipster zombie climbing up the building. Oh, I made two of them. Get out of here. We need to modify his arms so it makes it look like he's climbing, reaching up. His legs are stuck there. His head has to be up because he's climbing, right? He wants the sandwich. He wants the sandwich. Okay, there we go. He's climbing the building to get the sandwiches. The company logo, the I Sandwich Company logo. He's hungry. Now we need a roadblock here on the city street, blocking off people from getting on that street and police shooting at him. Uh, maybe we'll have it start right here, there, and up over here. Now for the police barricade, we'll have the city street blocked off with these barricades again. Cops guarding them, people can't come in. And then we'll have a few crushed cars which are already placed down. We'll have them where it looks like he walked, like in there somewhere. Now to add the police officers, we need to have some SWAT vehicles, police cars packed up here. They'll be behind the barricade, looking up, shooting up, things like that. I don't know how close we want them to get, I'll just have them park their cars like on the side here and then they'll be shooting at the giant oh yeah that'll work police cars parked in there on the side here and then a fire truck who's going to be on this side up over here they'll be watching they'll be watching for some fires they don't know what's going on yet okay now we just need the police officers looking up shooting at the giant uh we got a bunch of guns here of course from the workshop now we just need to get the models of the police officers and the swat everybody just trying to defend the giant sandwich building we'll go with the standard blue guys here aiming up and firing now it's going to be tough to get their arms right for aiming upwards but i'll do my best that guy's just looking up he's not really shooting uh, he's just looking up now we need a few more of them this guy will be shooting straight up with his dual pistols dual revolvering it that's tough and then on this side we need regular police officers just behind watching keeping traffic out of this street and also a few of them shooting as well looking up bunch of cops swat over there shooting at him and what else could we have maybe a biohazard guy they're just coming in in a van or something getting unloaded we need the biohazard team the anti-zombie task force uh, which van looks the best for them? Maybe this one. They'll be parked here, backing up, and you can see them getting unloaded. So I know these are astronauts, but this is kind of the best I could do for a hazmat team. This guy's getting off the thing here. This guy's over here. Just peeking around the corner. Oh, and we need... We need jets or something coming in to attack. Maybe a helicopter flying around it. It'd be like... King Kong, kind of. The helicopter way up here, just watching. Then we have some jets coming in. Jets are coming in to do strafe run or something. So here we are on ground level. As you can see, there's a giant zombie climbing up the building to get those fake sandwiches. We have police and everything here, hazmat fire team. And then up over there, there's jets coming in to do a strafing run or a missile run on the zombie. 
And there's a helicopter up over there. This is coming along really nicely, guys. Anyways, that is pretty much it for this Tiny Town episode. If you have any suggestions on what I should build next in the city, let me know. And thank you guys for watching and subscribing. And remember, stay sweet. Bye.